Welcome back. Well, we've been talking about houses and homes on the show today. So for our chat, I want to ask all of you, what does your dream home look like? And what does it have to have? And I mean, the sky is the limit. You don't have any budget restraints, just whatever you want. I'm going to start with Bruce. What does your dream home look like? It is a chalet in the Alps, preferably overlooking the Matterhorn. So our best summer vacations as a couple, as in Sans, our 10-year-old extraordinary daughter, not family vacations, but grown-up vacations, are hiking through the Alps. And we did this incredible 10-day hike called the Tour Mont Blanc. Last year, we went back to Europe and hiked all around the Matterhorn. And so I would say the house is really just the staging area for an extraordinary view and for extraordinary activities. So I don't need a lot of bling. I don't need a lot of space. I need a great kitchen. I need some guest bedrooms so people come and hike with me. But I would say that is the dream. I'm a simple guy. I'm simple. <laughs> You better not need a lot of bling. You have a house in the Alps for crying out loud. I love it. Okay, That's Aaron, right. I'm going to take it over to you. If you could have your dream house, what has to be in it? It has to have an interior courtyard and it has to have a big pool as well. The house I'm inspired by is actually Castle Loon, which is a stunning villa in the Algarve. That's where I want to be. I would be happily there right now, hanging out with a cocktail by the pool. And I'd be right beside you, my friend. Love it. Uh, let's take it over to Matt. Matt, your dream home, what does it look like? Well, my dream home might be the complete opposite, it sounds like, of Bruce's, where he's doing this beautiful chalet in the mountains. I want the palace in the sky. I'm a condo lover. I'm a lover of bringing my garbage down to an easy little tra trap and go for it. So I want a penthouse in the sky, multi-level. I need an elevator. I need at least 3,000 square feet because I have a pool table. I have a basketball gym and it has to have an infinity pool. I need that at my house. If money's no object, that's my dream home. Uh, Scott, I gotta ask you, you're probably in your dream home right now, but what does your dream home need to have? <laughs> I mean, I think we worked pretty hard on this place and uh, we just finished it a couple of years ago. So we were pretty close to our dream home, but uh, some of the must haves um, for this place w for me was definitely a pool, uh, indoor outdoor pool actually, because I love the pool all year round and lots of space. I definitely like the privacy, but honestly, you know, I for me, it's another part of having a dream home is proximity to friends and family as well. So I probably wouldn't go that far. I'm good where I am. You know what else is really good? Let's talk about this beard. Now, are, is this a COVID beard, pandemic beard? Is the beard gonna stay? Cause I like the beard. Yeah, wow, you're, you're uh, part of the minority then who agree that the beard <laughs> is a good thing. I, uh, my wife is not a huge fan and uh, I think I'll put a poll out, um, but it, I haven't shaved in three months and this is the most beard I've ever had in my life. I feel like a castaway every morning when I wake up. I haven't had a haircut. I haven't shaved. I, I'm feeling pretty good about it, though. I mean, it's. I just feel like I'm one with nature, like a Neanderthal here. I'm feeling the exact same way. It's been about three months since I shaved as well. And let me tell you, it feels good. I say keep the beard. Okay, I'm going to talk about my dream home now. <laughs> my dream home, yes. it has to be the house I'm in because I'm never, never moving ever, ever, ever. I like this place. It's not that it's perfect, but I don't want to move. The only thing I would add, um, if I had all of the choices in the world, would be uh, floor-to-ceiling built-in bookshelves in many of the rooms in my house. There's something so luxurious about that. I've always wanted to have a library. We are drowning in books in this, in this house, so it would be really nice if they had a beautiful place to live. But that's the only thing I would add.